Hi guys, it's Sebastian, back with another video for you today. I got a special guest here with me, Jean-Charles. What do you call yourself? Ha <laughs> ha! How you call me? <laughs> That's the quiz reverse. What, what do you... We all about sensory. You know why, yeah? Sebastian? Why? Because I make wine uh -huh. and now fragrance. So what I want to propose is for us to have a toast together. Okay. Because you need to spend more time into this fragrance. Which is wow. all about bubble. Did you see that aim? I did see that. That's impressive. That's amazing, isn't it? So this is a wine that we make in conjunction with fragrance. So Cheers. first, toast to you. Thank you. And smell that amazing aromatic expression. Wow. You'll realize winemaking, fragrance, creation is the same. It all well, starts there. It starts with the nose, yeah, doesn't it? Mm. What do you think of this one? This is delicious, actually. It's quite delicious. Thank you. It's a uh, very young fruits I'm tasting. Yeah. Berries. Yeah. A little tart. Yeah. Which I like. And it's right. also a little tart and a little sweet. That's right. Strawberries, cherries, maybe raspberries. He's good. I don't know. He, he's done that a few times. I think so. And he came very prepared, so it's not like he rehearsed. But no, I did not. <laughs> well done. This so this is what we call a Cyrillus. So this is a Napa Valley 2016 mm. vintage. And for you, because you're into fragrance, of yep. course, this is jewelry on the bottle. Wow. Very usual. So the cereal, cereal. The Cyrillus okay. by JCB. By JCB, okay. That's and it. they can get it here? They can get it here. All right. And they'll get it in your house because you're going to invite them all. Okay. <laughs> all right. Look at this. So this is a, a perfumed wine or, or sparkling wine. Do you call it a champagne or? We cannot. So champagne is strictly to the champagne region. Mm -hmm. So France will have champagne another time okay. together, which we produce as well. This is from Carneros. It's a 2018 phenomenal Pinot Noir mm. Cyrillus. So we leave the skin in contact to get that beautiful pink color. Okay. You know, in fragrance, color is not as essential because on your skin, in any case, yeah. this appears, but for wine, look at this color in your glass. It's beautiful salmon color, peachy kind of. <laughs> oh. That's your good ear. Yeah, that's my good ear. <laughs> yeah, me too. We don't hear on the outside, just on the inside. Wow. This is, act this is actually really, really delicious. So, um, where can people buy this? Just order it? Only here at JCB, okay. jcbcollection.com. Thank you for asking. And it's uh, something we sell and bottle ourselves. Méthode Champenois, so same technique as in Champagne. Pinot Noir, Carnet Rose, which is that beautiful, great area to make the best sparkling in California, okay. which is 20 minutes away from where we are. And we're very proud of it because this is exactly what you described, raspberry, strawberry, beautiful red berries with a hint of phenomenal and tempting ideas of white rose. Mm. The white rose is, is prominent and this is why I wanted to have this wine with this fragrance because okay. you're going to see a little bit of a correlation. All right, all right, really. Rosewood, white rose. That's one rose. of my favorites from yours. Number 13. Yeah, I love that one. Is that your first one or is the dark water one? Both. So what we did is Olivia Giacobetti became a great, great, great friend in a sense that she really taught me how to think about fragrance for a while. Mm. She said no to me, I cannot help you for months. And then what happened is I sent her from our cellar in Burgundy cuttings of the staves of the barrel. Okay. And I said, Olivia, I want that smell. Mm. I described it on the telephone, I met she didn't get it then i sent her a box with rootstocks and the staves and she said finally i get it you want this flavor profile this feeling of the staves within the glass or within the nose or within the flacon as we call it within the beautiful decanter mm -hmm. i said yes so we created a molecule for those two fragrance that is oak okay and the oak we use for winemaking. So there was a correlation of me as a winemaker, vintner, to a fragrance. Producer. So you have a special molecule created mm -hmm. just for you. That's it. And that's in both of these two fragrances. Correct. And we make it with Roberté, uh -huh. very unique, phenomenal firm out of the south of France, in Grasse, wow. as you know. 
And so we have over 35 different comp components within those two fragrances, but the key element of the two is really that white oak okay. that is being repurposed from winemaking all the way to fragrance. Okay. All right. So you chose to work with Olivia Giacobetti because you're friends with her, or she just no. knew how to do this? No, because she knew how to do it because of her reputation and her style of fragrance. This is her style. That's Both her of those style. are her style. Mm -hmm. I was looking for something very refined, highly sophisticated, something very elevated, mm -hmm. something intellectual in many ways, which brings the world of agriculture, viticulture, to urban life, to sophistication, finesse, during the day, at night, yeah. your daily number 13 to your black tie. Mm -hmm. I wanted something that gradually takes you to the evening from the day and the morning. And I often actually blend the two together. Okay. And yeah. it's a phenomenal result. Yeah, it graduates from one to the other for sure. Uh, a lot brighter, fresher here with the clear bottle. Yes. And then a lot more darker and denser with the. Yeah, let's do for the dark, dark side. So oh, let's see. Um, are you ready? You're going to have to smell from here. Oh yeah, I can smell that. That's beautiful. That's definitely her signature, for sure. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can see her signature. Well, and she taught me a great deal. You okay. know, what is so fun, as I'm doing with you, is learning is, I've been making wine all my life. Mm -hmm. So I've been smelling in a glass, in a barrel, outdoor, all my life. The most important asset of my body is this. Yeah, this is very important. That's it. So, I learned a great deal because she really taught me how to assemble to a tenth of a percent mm. one of the molecules that could be rosewood, that could be oud, that could be anything that I love to a tiny percentage and I could see the dominance of it and the power of it and still the ultimate blend. Okay, so the way you were working <coughs> with her, was she giving you formulas to smell or you know works in progress and Absolutely. they were saying this is this is good this is to not your good. process to your process hell and pleasure at the same time <laughs> okay. paradise and hell so she on tortured both of those? me she attached me oh really chained me and say smell and love it and then she whipped me and she said you better love it oh wow so there Very was physical yeah. okay <laughs> so so no these were like one time and she, no, 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 no. We, we worked honestly relentlessly because she had obviously with me someone who is into sensory mm -hmm. and I'm into smell. That's what I've done all my life yeah. is make wine. Wine is this. So we were, we exchanged a lot together. We spent a lot of time tasting and smelling and, and composing and creating and imagining the people like you loving it, mm -hmm. wearing it, going out and being noticed with it. So it was really important to talk about the context and the impact of what we wanted to achieve. And yeah. That's why I think it took us close to three years to do. Close to three years, okay. Well, I designed as well at the same time the beautiful bottle, I call it a decanter. Yeah. That beautiful diamond cut, which is the same as the glass. You see, same die cut as here. Oh yeah, beautiful. So, same as here. So. I really spent hours and hours and hours designing that beautiful flaco and I wanted to create something that was so special and a vanity um, maybe with your guests in your living room or in your powder room or in the entrance and something that the capo as well would speak the open top of the vat mm -hmm. that's right yes I remember this fermentation of the grapes and the ultimate grape is obviously the one of a different color mm. that leads you to think about what we're having. I see. And that's the fun of it, I think, as you do, Sebastian. I know you have 4,500 flavors at your disposal, 4,500 4, different creations. Yeah. What is so fun is to create with an idea in mind, a guest in mind, a friend in mind, and an emotion in mind. Mm. For me, I create senses. Yeah. So it's kind of easier to even create a perfume because I always have something in my head. Okay. Yeah. So that was for those two. So you spent about three years for the first two fragrances. Mm -hmm. And when did they launch? Uh, they launched, uh, I would say seven months before fantastic COVID. All right. Came for a visitation. So for those, a short they're period. pretty, pretty new then. Yeah. Fairly new for yeah. sure. So did you have in your mind to create fragrances 
how long had you had it in your mind? All my life, because yeah. I was born, my mother always wondered why I was not in the fragrance business, because I smell everything. Mm -hmm. As you came in, I size you through your smell. I smell... Did you everything. smell my fragrance? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's I'm good. very fortunate that as I look at someone, I smell someone. Mm -hmm. My nose is as important as my eyes. Obviously, I look at you, I love drawing and designing, so I look at your shape, your eyes, your proportion, to your mouth, to your ears, to your nose, to... I will remember you forever. Okay. I never forget a face. Faces are good to remember. Very cool. Yeah. I'm Names visual. I'm not sure about. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> What's your name, Roger? Oh, no. <laughs> no, Sebastian. Yeah. But you know, I could forget your name, possibly. Okay. Rarely because you're Sebastian and now you are Sebastian. Yeah. And Sebastian fits you. Uh huh. It does. Did you rename yourself? I did rename myself. You did? Yeah. You see, I did not know that. It's but a I stage name. It. I Most people so. don't know. Now and, you know. <laughs> and now you know because I had no idea, but I felt it. Okay. Where were you born? Lebanon. Yeah. What was your first name? I don't usually reveal my first name. Well, if I ask you, would you? <laughs> I'll, off camera, I will. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. So you're Lebanese. I'm, I I'm, like you even I'm, more. I'm Armenian Lebanese. Oh, the best too. <laughs> the oppressed and the oppressor. <laughs> <laughs> but the Lebanese, it's my favorite food in the world. Mm -hmm. And I love Armenian people, okay. obviously. All right. You know, as French, we welcome. I know. Both of those nationalities when it happens. Yeah. And the Lebanese food is my favorite. Okay. My mom's Full the best stop. Lebanese cook. Well, when where are we going? <laughs> where does she live? She lives outside of Sacramento. Oh, that's easy. Uh -huh. I'll come. <laughs> okay. No, it's, dear friends, if you've never tried Lebanese food, I know we have a few Persians still in San Francisco. Not many Lebanese left. Mm. Sadly, I love American, Lebanese, Persian. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm... I know Syrian very well as well, Jordanian food. Okay. I'm very big into the Middle East. Yeah, Lebanese food is the best though. Yeah, for sure, by far. <laughs> and, so, and, and it's very cool because it's fresh and at the same time very intense on the flavor. Oh, very intense. It really captures, I think, the old, it, it, it mystical of flavors. That's why it's so cool. Yeah, yeah. And where can you go in the world skiing in the snow and then water skiing. That's what everybody says, you're right. That's true. Switzerland and the Middle East. <laughs> Lebanon. <laughs> yeah, and they love oud. They do love oud. 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 Did you use oud in any of your fragrances? Well, a little bit in 100% amour. Okay. There's a sixth one coming out soon with oh, a lot wow. of oud. Sixth one. Oh, wow. Well, we, we love the sixth one. Who are you senses. working with this next one? Aha, uh -huh. Marc Antoine. He's Which, a great perfumer. I love his stuff. Well, he's a great. His brand is so underrated. Parfum d'Empire. Empire, it's so good. Marc Antoine, you better watch. It's another. He just launched a Vetiver. Yeah, I know. Oh, you saw it already? I saw it in uh, Jovois in Paris. Ooh, you travel. I do Next travel. to my apartment in Paris, Jovois is the best. Uh huh. Because he has all the new, the new, the new. Yeah, he does. You know him? Yeah, Francois? of course, of course. Yeah, I do. yeah, yeah. he's great. Yeah. So, should we switch over to the, yeah, the other Yeah, Marc Antoine. Then we'll talk about Bertrand. So, I fell in love with a woman in 1980. Three. Uh-huh. I was 13 and she was only 22. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. And she was wearing Le Must of Cartier. Oh, I know that. You one. know, with a beautiful leather. And, oh, she totally magnetized me with her flavor, her blonde hair, mm. her appeal, her sex appeal. I was totally taken. It was in the Alps. It was in Courchevel. Mm -hmm. And I bought that fragrance all along, all my life to remind me of this moment. Wow. And then Marc Antoine says, as the ultimate fragrance, what do you want to do? I want to do 100%, which means 100% means 100% amour, love. And I created with him this, try this. This is insanity. So this is, when you think of Le Must of Cartier, a little more refined. I could see that. Yeah, Le Must was big. Bang! I could see that. It's wow. me. I'm dancing on the dance floor, I'm at the Bus Palladium at, at Cher Regine, and you're seeing me with my hair. <laughs> and I was right there, but mm. here I wanted more sensuality, That's more beautiful. elegance, and Marc Antoine did it. I mean, we spent two years on this. Wow. And I tortured you, Marc Antoine, because <laughs> we wanted to create something which was the ultimate. Yeah. And I love this fragrance because as people, 
buy this fragrance, I turn around. A lot of people from Lebanon, Persia, they love that intensity and richness and That's spice. Like I'm in love with it. I can see your inspiration with the must yeah. from Cartier. That's right. Yeah, 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 totally. But there's a fruitiness here. Mm -hmm. What's the fruit? Ah, what is it? Uh, is it blackberry? Yes! Cassis or something? Good job. It's cassis. Why cassis? Dear friends, I'm from Burgundy. Well said. So cassis is blackcurrant in English, mm -hmm. um, which has those beautiful blue kind of red berries that we make a drink out of named Blanc Cassis. Yeah. I've cassis had it. drink. Yeah. It's a liqueur in Burgundy and we harvest it on the hillsides and we make an alcoholic drink. And that's exactly what it is. Oh, wow. Well done, because it's very rare that someone can can. This pick is my that. second favorite of your life. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I love this one. Cool. And then what about the the purple bottle? One? So the purple is all about one of my daughter, okay. uh, Grace Antoinette. All about this is me. This is seduction. This mm -hmm. is centrality. So here, what we were trying to achieve is Rihanna right. meets Lady Gaga meets. Uh, oops, sorry, meets. Um, Meets maybe Catherine Deneuve. Oh, I know. Or her. Brigitte Bardot. I'm in love with this fragrance and it's having enormous success. Wow. Although we only sell those fragrances in very limited distribution. Purposely because we want to be in full control of the dialogue. This is so sexy. This and is fun. Kind of vintage also. Yeah. Yeah, you feel like you're in the Is 80s. it Iris? It's Iris. He is good, ladies and gentlemen. But this is this is buttery. This mm -hmm. is orris, right? That's right. Like really, like in can, well, it's the texture of the, yes. the orris in here. Yeah, and I'm a big fan of iris. You find it all throughout. It's one of the most refined. You find it as well in our cosmetic cream, mm. which we'll talk about another time. Iris is essential. Yeah. A little bit of uh, other components. I'll let you guess. I know you will. Um, there's definitely something sweet, maybe vanilla here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's woods and maybe some ambery touch. Naturally. Naturally vanilla. But maybe there's some light fruits in there, something. What are you thinking? Is it violet? There's violet, yes. Violet leaves or violet flower? Flower. Flower, okay. Yeah, we went for the flower mm -hmm. and then keep going. I'm trying. There's it's, another it's a bit makeup y. It smells like makeup. Well, what, what is very predominant in makeup? Keep going, keep going. Uh, violets, uh, uh, is it leather? We have leather in here? We do have leather for sure. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not understanding the fruits. Uh, a little caramel. Caramel, okay. A little caramel in mm -hmm. it, which is very important with the vanilla. I think it brings, and a little bit of a smell okay. that we love in cognac, a little bit of tannins. Oh. So we have a tiny bit of our tannic molecule, which is in those components as well, a touch. Okay. So Love it. Why? It's, it, this is delicious, actually. This is my third favorite, probably, from your line. So, why? Well, there's why? five, so hopefully there's a fourth. Or a fifth. <laughs> no, but what, what, what? your daughter, which daughter is it? And what, does That's Gas match Antoinette. She has, uh, they both have beautiful blue eyes. She's a little lighter in color, all about fashion. And, mm. So, this and matches her personality? Totally. Uh -huh. And the other one, the last one, is the other daughter, uh, Honore Josephine, that is very outdoorsy extremely walking in the forest, mushroom hunting. Oh, uh, yeah. Can uh, I spray? Of course. Uh, all about, um, what I love is uh, all about Lily in the valley. Oh. You know, Muguet. Muguet. Very Diorissimo, Christian Dior era. Very much Vetiver. I love this one. Very much Orange Vert. So you have Mandarin. You have a little bit of... Uh, and you work with who on this one? Bertrand. I work with Bertrand, Bertrand. du Chafou. Who did uh, Orange Vert or participated in this that? This does smell like, it reminds me of, yeah, sure. yeah, it reminds me of. This is a top gun. And this is an eau de cologne, so eau de parfum, 25% concentration, eau de cologne, 6%. Oh, okay. So it will eventually dissipate faster, but it's so phenomenally sexy. Iris again. Uh-huh. It's, it's a bit powdery, but I'm not getting much of the Diorissimo, I'm getting more of the Eau de Orange Vert. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But That's there's Lily in the Valley here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Muguet. I love Lily Muguet, exactly. In May, dear friends, what you do uh, in May is you go in the forest, which is a tradition in Burgundy, and you go and pick up the lily in the valley and you offer it, we call it the Muguet, to um, all the great people you love. It's a sign. I was in Paris one year on May Day and I saw all the lily of the yeah, valley everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's the big Labor Day mm. type of, of gift. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, what we wanted here is freshness. We wanted the leaf of the oak, but at the same time the new season, the spring. Mm -hmm. We wanted you to close your eyes and walk in the forest, or as the flowers come out of that, you know, first, second season of the year, you know, you have obviously the winter and then you come out in the spring and yeah. bang, here it is. This is spring in the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. It's very fresh, very, very sparkling. That's it. Yeah. I'm a big fan of this one. Uh, the moment you wear it early in the morning, everybody in a meeting just lighting up. Yeah. This is it. This wakes up your senses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is pretty. Very, very nice. And done. very elegant. I think what we attempted to do, dear friends, is is really work with very refined nose, people who understood what we were looking for and at the same time we worked together to further define the idea of the ultimate fragrance in each of the categories. You've, you've chosen amazing perfumers. Thank you. I'm a fan of all of the perfumers. Thank you yeah. so much. Was it was the sixth one? Can well, we the sixth one, it? yeah, will be Marc Antoine. Oh, good. Because we started, and I want something actually from your world. Uh -huh. I'm a huge fan of the Middle East and a um, huge fan of, of oud, but not its in primary form. Okay. I want it in its high, a little diluted form because okay. when it's pure, it's so strong and yeah, powerful. It's intense. It, the intensity is insane. So I want oud, I want rosewood, I want a little bit of tubereuse. Mm in it okay so it has tuberous associated as a route to the wood so you'll see okay and when does that come out well whenever we want it okay whenever Maybe it's finished whenever probably in four or five months okay okay cool next year yeah yeah so where can people buy your fragrances at your place at my place <laughs> don't you sell them no well you better start <laughs> here it is okay it's a scoop dear friends um so can they, well, we, we, can they come here? JCBcollection.com, okay. JCB Lounge, JCB Fragrances. We have them as well in San Francisco at Gums. We have them. Oh, Gums? In, yeah. Oh, there's a that. few there, and there's a few at uh, Neiman Marcus. I think oh. in four or five of them. And that's it. But, you know, when we released, COVID happened. Mm. So everybody departed the stores, and everybody. So it's a new beginning for us, which is so cool. And, uh, if you want to come here to try them, to sample them, to taste them, I love to use the word taste. They're tasty. <laughs> exactly. They're delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Sebastian so, so, himself. So let's let's tell them a little bit about where the, the, the this, this place is, the JCP. So, JCP, yeah. We are in the heart of Napa Valley, dear friends. This is where all our wineries are. Remember, we make wine, champagne, sparkling wine, spirits, cognacs, bubbles, of course, so we have a wonderful place at the Ritz Carlton in San Francisco where you can sample them all. Here in Youngville, where we are in the heart of Napa Valley, in Oakville, in San Helena, and soon in Calistoga oh, at Le Clos, which is a dedicated destination just for our fragrance. So you can find them in many places and you can order them online. Okay, cool, cool. Do you sell samples as well, or is it just? Yes, we do. We have a little uh, sampler okay. of the five in a beautiful sexy box discovery set and ch -ch -ch -ch, you discover mm -hmm. and you set for life cool that's amazing yeah yeah guys so my favorite is this one uh this is uh i'm forgetting the names number 13 number 13. it's okay. easy it's only bearing numbers as well we didn't smell this one but uh, this is uh, created by olivia Giacobetti. it's a fresh incense right mm -hmm. yeah that's right yeah uh so number two is the 100 percent more Ooh, you got it. And then this one. All about love. It's the Musta Cartier inspiration. Yes. It's a little fruity. I'm not shy to say it because if you know the must, you, you, you understand there's some basis. We departed from it, mm -hmm. of course. So it's not the carbon copy. There was no point to create the same. Yeah. But it was the inspiration. That's the inspiration. Okay. And then we have number three. That's my favorite. Number three. I'm just ranking them here. So this is the iris with a little violet. It's a little makeup y. And then we got the fresh one here. Uh, the Eau de Cologne. Eau de Cologne, yeah. So this is very fresh and sparkling. And the last one, it's not that it's a bad fragrance. I have a hard time with smoky fragrances. Uh, yeah. It's not easy it's to okay. wear. It's okay. It's uh, okay. This is uh, number one. You don't have to love them all. No, you don't. No. You just have to wear them all. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and you can mix them. Isn't it fun to mix fragrance? Oh, I love to layer. Yeah. I used to not, but now I'm layering all the time. For sure. Yeah, I'm blending, making my own mixes, like a mixologist. That's it. Yeah. So you layer these two together? Oh, for sure. Today, I've layered those two. Okay. I've done those two a lot, okay. historically. 
Now it's fall season, it's colder in the morning. I wanted this morning a profusion of alcoholic, phenomenal, natural sensory flavors. Okay. I want it to be explosive. And those two together, when you look at rouge et noir, mm. very stand out. Yeah. Black and red. Yeah. That was the blend. Let me ask you one last question. Sure. So, people that are really into wines, mm -hmm. do you find them objecting to no. fragrances? No, people who really understand and can taste wine, which is most of you, um, you make an abstraction of it. I could smell as much fragrance. Here I'm very focused. It's not disturbing me whatsoever. I smell the wine as you described it. I feel the blueberry. I feel the violet. I feel the rose. No, it's... If you focus and discipline in your mind, you can... Obviously, if you put fragrance on the glass, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. But it's not what we're doing. So, no, I think they work together, okay. actually. Perfect. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Any last things you want to say? Sebastian is the man, and I want to know his real name as a Lebanese, as the man who come from the culture of fragrance. Remember, the Lebanese discovered a lot of the primary roots that we use in fragrance today. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. For sure. We also have wine there. That's right. Yeah, we do. Great wines, <laughs> beginning of civilization, great place. Yeah. So to Sebastian. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you.